plaintiff, Kayla Machado, says she was a cheerleader in high school who got good grades and also participated in beauty pageants. However, Kayla claims her life took a dramatic turn three years ago when the defendant assaulted her and broke her nose all over a boy. She's suing for pain and suffering. Defendant Jacqueline Nesby and her daughter Cassandra insist Cassandra is a good girl who played softball and got good grades. But they do admit that she assaulted Kayla after she discovered Kayla was dating her ex-boyfriend. Cassandra regrets the assault, but claims she has paid off her restitution. All right, tell me what happened. Well, I met Cassandra in junior high school through a mutual friend. I am a year older than her, and I went to a different school than her. I was a sophomore in 2006. I was a good student. I was a flyer for the varsity cheerleading squad, which I absolutely loved. It gave me a big adrenaline rush, and it was just the most amazing feeling ever. And I'm I was glad also, that's the way you got it. <laughs> yeah, it was All fun. Right. It was fun. A lot of kids in high school and college and as adults find their adrenaline rush yes, in Honor. other destructive ways. Yeah. So, you're a good example of how they can find it other than getting high off drugs. Flying and cheerleading. Find something you have a passion for, something you love, and you'll get the same high, right? Yes, sir. How you know? You've been high? No. <laughs> cheerleading. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead with you. All right. Testing and I was on. also, I also did beauty pageants for two years and I placed in the top both years. But Good. on November 10th, 2006, my life dramatically changed when Cassandra approached me and punched my nose and broke it. Um, well, you got to give me a little more background than that. Okay. Whoa. Well, I was at the movie theater with some of my friends just out having a good time. And she approached me, kind of grabbed my throat, pushed About me what? around. You gotta tell me okay. what was there this words was over, said, or she this was. This was over a guy, and she came the up to me. The guy you were with? A guy I was with at the time, yes. Right. You were? He was there with you that no, night? No, he was okay. not with me. He was at his house. Okay. I think. So she came up and said what? Yeah, she came up to me. She, I do not remember the exact words because it was a long uh -huh. time ago. What was the essence of her statement? Pretty I'm going to get you if you keep messing with this yeah, guy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, was so, she flirting or dealing with him also? I do not know, actually. Okay, let me hear from her. I, I do want to say that this was a horrible thing that happened. And yes, my daughter did punch Kayla in the nose. However, she is a good girl. That was the one and only time she was ever in trouble. She gets good grades in school. She played softball. She did a little cheerleading also. Uh, anyway, it was a Friday evening. I took Cassandra to the movies. And 20 minutes later, I got a call saying that she had hit someone and I needed to come and get her. Okay. So I will let her Young fill lady. in. So my mom dropped me off at the movies. And our mutual friend came up, told me that Kayla was there. And so I went up to her. My intentions weren't to fight her. I never told her I was going to fight her or hit her. I went up to her, heard she was talking badly about me. I asked her about it. And she, there was words exchanged. And she said, I'm with him now. There's nothing you can do about it. And I grabbed her by the neck and I punched her in the face. Mm, mm, mm. She then, actually walked away. Over a boy. Yes. And I know it was had wrong. Had you I, been dating him for a yes. while? How long? I don't remember. You she don't had remember dated how him. long you dated no, the boy. She... Yet you put yourself at risk of going to jail. Yeah. I know and it was wrong. And don't even remember how long you went with him. Yeah. I know it was wrong. Well, Your Honor, this you is a gentleman, this is a gentleman that neither girl should have been with, Yeah, honestly. Exactly. It wasn't worth it for That's, either of us, really. Exactly. It really wasn't. You didn't and think about that when you were getting in trouble? Not at the time. Okay. It was two years ago. She was 15 years old. And like mm -hmm. I said, she has not been in a stitch of trouble. We did uh, have go to court. I had spoken with Kayla's mother the next day. I told her how sorry I was for the situation and what had happened. I told her that I would pay for any out-of-pocket expenses that would occur through the process. Yeah. 
Uh, she, at that time, didn't really seem to think that that was going to be a concern. Uh, five months later is when we were then notified that they were taking us, or that they were pressing legal charges against her. All right, no. young lady, I'm sorry, ma'am. Yes. And young lady. <laughs> Thank you. State your name. <laughs> I'm Kathleen Machado. What do you want to tell me? Uh, really, I'm most interested in uh, the communications that you had with the mother. Okay, I'm sorry. It was a few years back, and I don't. I remember you calling me the day after, and um, saying that please communicate with me. Her dad would get very mad. Did you communicate um, with her? I did not communicate with her Why? Um, other than the police report. I know. Why she didn't you charged. communicate with her? Well, I didn't need to. I didn't feel like you I needed to. You didn't want your money? And I thought the restitution <clears throat> would okay. be enough. How to much take restitution care of it. did you? We got 300 and 300? <laughs> it wasn't very much. What were your damages? Um, $361. What were your damages? I got a broken what? nose. I've had three surgeries, and I still need one more surgery to actually let me be able to breathe correctly. Did the, oh Lord have mercy, you need another surgery. Plaintiff Kayla Machado is suing the defendant because she claims the defendant assaulted her and broke her nose all over a boy. You've had three surgeries, a broken nose, and you have another surgery to go. Did the judge know any of this when he ordered $300 in restitution? Actually, I got the three surgeries totally, like, spread apart. And, of course, today, knowing that all these surgeries have occurred and you still have one to go, um, certainly you're entitled to pain and suffering. Let me ask about your knowledge of the young lady's destructive activity or behavior in the past. Do you have any knowledge of anything of the sort? Not in the past, um, but since I have came here, mm -hmm. I've had numerous amounts of people coming up to me telling me how Cassandra brags about breaking my nose That's and how she's proud true. of it. Young That's lady? That's not true. I've had the same thing. I've had people coming up to me telling me how she's suing me because she needs the money and things like that, how I came up and I sucker punched her. It was a cheap shot that my intentions weren't to fight her in the first place. What type of discipline did you administer, ma'am? Well, Your Honor, my daughter had to pay every bit of money back to her parents, to us, for the oh, restitution. Oh, okay, how much? She, I'm showing that out of out of what we paid, I have documentation here. What was all here, the money? You don't that remember? That $936, Okay. Sir. Certainly you're entitled to $5,000. I don't have to read anything. I don't have to see anything. If you've had all those surgeries, which I believe, judgment for the plaintiff, $5,000 for negligent supervision. <laughs> Continued to cheer the next year, but it was nothing the same. It was terrible. I could not fly. I couldn't tumble. I couldn't do anything. I was just there to do the routines and show my spirit. So the next year, I did quit for my senior year and continued on with school. It was her choice if she didn't want to do cheerleading anymore. If she didn't want to do pageants, that was her choice. I'm glad it's over. Uh, it was a horrible thing that happened, and, and I, if we could take it back, I'm sure Cassandra and I would both would. We recently spoke with both plaintiff Kayla Machado and defendant Cassandra Nesby, who both say they are now civil with one another. Kayla told us that after the case, she and Cassandra attended the same beauty school, and Cassandra apologized for the assault. Kayla told us that she now owns her own nail salon and is doing great. Cassandra is married with two children and her mother Jacqueline Nesby loves being a grandma.